Hi YouTubers, this is Zero Ems, and today I'm going to show you my new programmers. I bought two, yeah, on AliExpress, and they are called USB ASP. And here it is, yeah. The several switches on it. The first one you can use for changing voltages, yeah, and it's ready for programming 5 volts and 3.3 volts, yeah, boards. The second uh, switch is there for upgrading firmware, yeah, in the programmer. And there is also the third switch, which is there for programming boards which communicate uh, on lower frequency. The second programmer doesn't even have uh, header pins for the second and third switch. For using these programmers, you have to have a cable. It's a 10 pins cable, yeah. And you can even connect these two programmers one to another, yeah. And this way you can upgrade a uh, firmware, yeah, which is inside. So this thing I'm going to show you in my next video, yeah, how to do that. If you want to program using these programmers uh, your Arduino board you can use uh, such a adapter yeah which you can directly connect uh, to your Arduino Uno board or any other board yeah of course like this and this way you are able to program the microcontroller which is on the Arduino Uno board directly yeah without any bootloader pre-uploaded yeah maybe you don't know that but there's another microcontroller the small one yeah which is there for uploading yeah sketches to the main mic controller and you can also program via programmer this small microcontroller yeah for example for upgrading firmware in it yeah Here you can see pinout for in-circuit programming, yeah. For programming it's used the uh, SPI communication protocol. And if you don't know how the pins are oriented, yeah, you can check the ground like this, yeah, using the continuity test on your multimeter. And this way you can find the ground and also on the second interface, yeah, you can identify the ground, yeah which is this pin yeah it is okay now I'm ready to connect uh, this programmer to my computer yeah and in device manager it's identified uh, like this yeah but there is a problem because there is a missing driver for it so I have to install one, yeah. Drivers uh, for this programmer you can find on this side, yeah. Just uh, download uh, this software, yeah. Just click on download, yeah. And it's standalone application, you can just open it, yeah. You have to select the right device and now you can install drivers, but therefore drivers I tested all of them, but only two work, yeah. So lib USB K is the one which works. Win USB is the second one, yeah, which works. So you can install either of them, yeah. And two remaining, yeah, don't work. So install just lib USB K or Win USB, yeah. I decided to go to win USB.
OK. The driver is installed, yeah, and in Device Manager it's recognized correctly. So I'm ready for programming. This is uh, my Blink sketch, yeah. I have to update it a little, yeah. And now I'm going to upload the sketch using my programmer. Yeah, the first I have to check the board, yeah, which is all right. Yeah, it's Arduino, you know. And the programmer, which must be USB ASP. Once again, yeah, USB ASP, it's all right. And now I'm going to upload it, yeah, but I have to use upload using programmer, yeah. Otherwise, it won't work. All right, the sketch seems to be uploaded. Let's take a look at uh, my Arduino board. This is still the old Blink sketch. Now it's uploading, and this is the new one. Yeah, it was uploaded correctly. Maybe you have noticed. Uh, one thing, yeah, this one, and when you see such messages, it means that you have uh, an old firmware in your programmer. It seems that Chinese sellers don't pre-upload the, the latest version, yeah, but I'll show you in my next video how to fix it, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to return back uh, the Arduino board to its original state, yeah. The first of all, I have to burn back uh, the bootloader, which was deleted because we used the programmer. Yeah, and if you want to use your Arduino board uh, normally, yeah, the bootloader must be there. Yeah. All right, the bootloader is uploaded, and now look at my Arduino board. Yeah, the LED is uh, still on. It means that. There is no sketch uploaded because we uploaded only the bootloader, yeah. Therefore, I have to now uh, upload in normal way, yeah, uh, the Blink sketch. Okay, let's go to the Arduino IDE and check the board. Yeah, it's all right. It's Arduino Uno. Port is also selected, and now I can upload the sketch using the upload, yeah? Okay, the sketch seems to be uploaded. And now look at my board again. Yes, it's uploading. And now the Blink sketch, it's already there, yeah? So now my Arduino board is in its original state. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope it was useful and you've learned something new. Yeah. So thank you for watching and see you next time.